everyone, I thought I'd do something a little non-mummy today. If you follow my blog or my Instagram, you'd have seen I just had a birthday. And come birthday comes money. So since I've lost nearly all my baby weight, I've still got a slight way to go, I thought I'd treat myself to some clothes that actually fit. So I'm not still trying to squeeze into my size eights and I'm not wearing maternity size twenties anymore because they both make me look bigger than what I am. So, as well as buying myself a new camera, woohoo, for no more pixelated videos, hopefully, um, I thought I would have a little mooch through boohoo.com and Topshop, and I found some bargains in their sale, which meant that I got quite a lot for my money, really. So, this is what I got. To start off with, I have bought some shoes. I'm partial to a pair of shoes and I saw these on the sale and thought that they would be perfect for summer with a pair of frilly socks. I'm a, such a lover of all things frilly and especially socks. So I got some jelly shoes. They just remind me of when I was a kid. And just because you've had a kid yourself doesn't mean you have to go up, right? I don't know. But either way, for £8, I thought they were a bargain, particularly. So, um, and then I picked up this. This was in the full price section, but it's, I don't know if you can see. It's a gingham swing dress with short sleeves, so I thought that would be perfect for the summer. It's really thin as well, which is really handy, because during the summer I can wear it and not feel too, like, hot and bothered, especially when you're chasing after a little one. Summer anyway. Then I picked up some slouchy tracksuit bottoms in grey. Because with the move coming up, I wanted something comfortable to wear. That didn't make me look massive as well. So I picked those up. They were a fiver. Then I have, I've got a love for midi dresses. And I found this in... There, I think that was full price. Let me check. Where's the uh... It was £15, but I think that was in the full price section as well. But I just love it. It's a really lovely creamy colour, and it's going to be perfect for the summer. And I don't have to worry about my thighs, because my thighs have still got stretch marks on, which I'm struggling to get rid of. Um... Then I got a couple of just sort of slouchy vesty tops. This is in the black. And there's a white version too. I got them in a size bigger because I thought they'd be more comfortable. But they were £8 for the pair. So they'd be perfect with a pair of jeans or a skirt. I then picked this up in the sale. It's a cute little scallop, scallop. I don't know how you pronounce it. Scallop, scallop skirt in olive. And it's quite short, but I thought of a pair of tights that'd be quite nice. And that was four pounds in the sale. Then, then I got a mocha coloured slouchy vest top which was pounds as well but I thought that would be perfect in the summer as well just to chuck on a pair of jeans when it's too hot and I can't bother to make too much of an effort then finally no it's not finally I lie then I got a duster coat in cream bit of a, probably a bit of a risky colour with a baby but I thought it was really cute and that was £20 which was full and it was full price 
but it's a quite lightweight material as well so in the summer it won't be too heavy to wear on over a coat when it's not too hot but it's not cold and then I got yet another midi dress from Boohoo I just got a black one it's got a little waistband with little rolled up sleeves but yeah this is just going to be so easy to throw on and in the summer and not worry too much and then finally I was a little bit more brave and I bought some wet looked jeans stuck together I haven't worn jeans or wanted to wear jeans since before I was pregnant and I wore them, I bought some maternity ones for work and I felt so self-conscious but I thought for £15 I'd give them a go and see what they look like, if they look awful then they might go back I don't know, I'll try them on tomorrow. And then if we move on to my two Topshop purchases. <coughs> oh, with my phone. Sorry about that. Um, this was £12. And it's just a little lightweight jumper with a little, what looks like a t shirt underneath. And that's in a petite, but it's a really big, slouchy one. As you can see, it barely fits on the screen. But I thought that would be really comfortable to wear in spring. And finally, probably my favourite purchase. Because a girl can never have too many shoes. Is these. They were the last pair on the Topshop sale website. And they were the last... Well, they were the only ones left and they were in my size, so they were destined. And they were £15. And they are just... They remind me of when I was a kid. <laughs> like when I was a little kid. And, oh, they're just so cute. So I basically bought midi dresses, kids shoes in big size, braving with wet look leggingy types tracksuit bottoms and some t-shirt but hopefully I'll start to feel a little bit more better with myself because I have been feeling quite unattractive and gross <laughs> since having Lucas as much as I love being a mum it's a big it's been a big change in my body I put on quite a lot of weight when I was pregnant um, and I swelled up everywhere so my arms my legs my face so to buy clothes that finally fit is quite a relief really so yeah i hope you enjoyed this haul video it's not something that i ever thought i would do i haven't really been i don't make a lot of purchases and if i do it's pretty boring. so i'm moving house soon so i was thinking about doing a house tour so you can see our new home and lucas's bedroom i'll do a lucas's bedroom like nursery tour so yeah, so thank you for watching, subscribe, hit the like button, um, leave a nice comment, don't be mean, it's never nice to be mean, there's no point, um, and so yeah, thank you for watching, and follow us on Instagram and my blog, the links are here, okay thanks, bye!